Check one, two, check. Check one, two. Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And I've just got my new Yeti caster. I've got a new Yeti microphone to replace the one that fell off the desk. And it's, now it's got the big fancy dancy boom thing they're now offering from Blue. It's got the isolation mounts. It's all fancy dancy wonderful stuff here. And I thought, what better way to celebrate getting the new microphone than to buy the fastest car in GTA Online. No, it's not this one. Although, I'm standing by this one for a reason. We're talking about its older sibling. Yes, that's right. The Adder. The Adder is on sale. I can't remember if it's a regular sale or a... That's a nice sale. I have a couple for you, though. Or a Twitch Prime sale. It's some kind of sale. It's way down the order here. I kid, I kid about being the fastest car in GT Online, but that's was the perception for a long time, and that's a perception that has persisted with some people. Now, where is it? This is so far down. Zintorno, another good sale. I've got those. But I've never had an adder. And, you know, it's just never here it is. From a million, four hundred thousand dollars off. And how can you not? How can you not get yourself an adder? I'm just going to do that. I'm only getting one. I'm not going to get one for... One for the CEO and one for... I have no parking in my CEO here. Where's Supply Street? We have one. Suppl you know, I, think, I don't know if it's... Suppl so maybe it's... No, it's pot Unit 2. Unit 2 has room. So that will arrive shortly. And I'm thinking I need to make some room in here. I'm going to probably leave, leave the Shire on here. I mean, that's that's okay. But you know, I have now that I have two of these, two tyrants. I think I'll park the tyrants next to each other just to remind myself that I have two tyrants. This hasn't been uh, upgraded yet. We can do the, the somewhat invisible upgrades, I guess, on the way. Or maybe later. I don't know. Let's just get this down there. I have a slow tyrant and I have a fast tyrant right now. So what we'll do is... They're, they're in... Did I miss a turn? It should be really this way, shouldn't it? Think. Doesn't it go that way around? <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a way to get it down this way. I don't know if that's the best route, but it's what will get us there. Park. This is the first of my podium vehicles that I'm reparking, I believe. Although I might have some some F1 stuff that has been reparked. And we'll run in the rain up the street. There's a blue ladder there up the street. This is longer than I think it is. No, it's right around the corner. Hey, if she can walk in the rain, I could take a quick run. And we'll shuffle these things around a bit. Whee! This is full up. Oh, I put it in the wrong one. This isn't where I wanted that. It was in 331. And where's... Where's the Golden. Am I confused? Okay, so we want this out of here. Although it's good that I had one extra spot in there, isn't it? Blue adder. It's going to have a blue theme to it. I think. 
Although I'm quite fickle with my pay jobs at times. Where's the gold one? Where's the gold tyrant? Okay, let's let's tuck this in here. Okay, first of all, we're gonna yeah, we'll, we'll move things around when we get. Let's call the mechanic. Where's my gold tyrant? Where is it? Mechanique! Mechanique, I need your help. There's somewhere down here. Just think it's a couple of wheels. Ago. I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you Hi, up. Russ, no. That's the white one. Wouldn't be there, would it? No. Wouldn't be, no, it wouldn't be in any of the office garages. Or the nightclubs. Marietta Heights? Okay, it's in Marietta I'll Heights. I'll get there as soon as I can. Okay, I got stuff to do. Is this the gold one or the purple one? Now I'm, now I'm confused. Is it the gold one or the purple one on this account? I think it's the gold one. Okay, here we are, just getting kind of foos with my garages. Ooh, wait. That's a ride. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> my mechanic loves me. Make him earn that salary. Now we gotta move it all around. We will swap Tyrant with Tyrant, then Tyrant with Adder, and there we have We have the white and the gold. The one that we built that I'm really kind of fond of, and then the one that we won that I'm also kind of fond of, we still haven't done anything with. Now this one, the Adair. This will get the priority as far as upgrades are concerned because got to get this one into running shape. We have, we already have a tyrant to race. I can always race the gold one instead of the white one. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I gotta be going the right way. There we go. Again, this is a car that for many, many moons was thought to be the fastest car with the highest top speed in GTA Online, but people forgot about the Z-Type. They, you know, the Z-Type's just a little bit, a little bit more top end. This handles better, obviously, but not, you know, not better than most uh, sports cars. As a matter of fact, I remember when I was first getting into GTA, I thought this was the car. I was one of those people. Million dollar price tag at the time, most expensive. <laughs> oh, weren't those quaint days? Most expensive car. Pretty cool. Yeah, we'll give that Xenons. A Veyron would have had Xenons, I think. Neon Leon, front, back, sides. Neon color. I think we're going to go crew. But I couldn't afford it, so I thought, well, what car do I think could be competitive with it that was only I don't know, 400,000 or something like that and that was the Entity XF and I ended up buying a much faster car at least around the track doesn't have the top speed yeah I don't know. there's nothing real special about that is there let's give it the uh, the see you later see you later plate respray now here's where it gets tricky do we go with a crew overall? All right. And then try and do the pearlescent. Well, we can't really do the pearlescent there, can we? I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go metallic. With the midnight silver. Pearlescent with the ultra blue. Hi, Pink. 
This is a paint scheme that I've really been fond of as of late. Where's Ultra Blue? Ultra Blue! You see how like really just blues the whole thing right out? And then on the secondary. Well, there's two ways we could do it. We could do crew or we could do ultra. Secondary color. I mean we could go crew. And that would work and tie in very well with everything. My crew color is pretty close to ultra blue, really. Though. And I think the crew might have a little more depth to it. Just a little bit darker blue. Is it enough, though? I mean, I, yeah, I think definitely on the crew striping here. But is that enough character? Hmm. What if? Okay, now follow me here. Wait, no, we don't want secondary here. Let's not, you know, respray, primary, metallic. We could do black and ultra, and that would look reasonably impressive. We could do brown and ultra, like a dark brown. I'm influenced a little bit by the podium vehicle. Let's go blue and, uh, Blue on blue with an ultra blue, dark blue with ultra blue. That might give it a little bit more of a. Of a uh, let's let's look at the browns though. Ooh, surf blue, racing blue. Here you can see the exact difference between ultra blue and blue blue. Blue blue. What am I saying? Crew blue, crew blue and ultra blue. Light blue and. Chocolate brown. Now here's where we're, we're getting into interesting territory here. Bison brown, creek brown, Feltzer brown. No, I don't know what the... The beechwood brown. I think you need the darkest brown to make this work. Oh, there's an alarm. Okay. Okay. And there's always purples. I mean, purple shaft... Oh, that could, you know... Spinnaker purple with an ultra blue... All right, that might be, that's an option. Spinnaker. I mean, the purples are always good, but let's go back to that chocolate brown. I'm going to throw some money at this to get it to look cool. With the pearlescent, not creek brown. Oh, no. Pearlescent ultra blue on this one. That looks terrible. Okay, so we're not, I mean, it's unique. Well, we're not doing that. No, we're not. We're not. Metallic. I want this to have some character. <clears throat> Spinnaker purple. Would definitely pick up the ultra blue, I think, pretty well. Shafter purple as well. Midnight purple would be more dominating in the. But yeah, I think. Let's try Spinnaker purple. Pearlescent. It normally comes with, let's do the ultra blue. Does that get too washed out? Isn't that, is that exactly what we're looking for? A really textured blue with some blue stripes. Yeah, the only real problem is the interior kind of clashes. The black on blue there. Guys, if this would be great with a tan interior. Can't do that with this car. That does look good, though. I mean, it just just does look good. Do you want to go with a more warm sort of thing? All oranges and browns, though. We're here. We're here. Let's do this. We can always change it up later. We can always change it up later. Certainly when you're racing, you're not going to notice the interior. You know what I mean? And every so often an adder race will come up. Suspension. In the traditional sense, let's slam it. This is an old school vehicle. Turbo. Wheels. Wheel type. 
off-road stock rims that have the extended set of yes it does it can do avalanche mountain man ridge climber concave five all training monsters are kind of traditional Rugged snowflake. Boy, I tell you what, I've really, I've really taken a liking to the concave rally masters. And then we back it out, wheel color. You want to go with a fluorescent blue? Ooh, bright orange. Do a contrast look on this. It almost looks you want to change the secondaries up on the stripes. Sunrise orange. I think baby blue is what we normally go with. Baby blue. Bright blue. Fluorescent. No, we're not doing fluorescent. Bright might work. I think bright baby. Bright. I think bright. Bright blue. Wheels. Tire enhancements. Bulletproof them. Tire smoke. Crew. Now it's just a very crew blue kind of ultra experience now. Windows, light smoke. Just a little smoky, but <coughs> look at this icy thing. So if I'm ever in some kind of, you'll notice there's no spoil. That's what always kept this vehicle from being that car. Where were we parking this again? Was it in here? We're taking stuff from... Let's look at it. I'm not saying it's the final car. Okay, we don't. We missed my turn. Crew smoke coming off the tires. I mean, it's not a slow car. It does have a good top speed, but there. Look at that. Let's soak that up. Digging it for right now. I mean, I can see that this car looks good in so many colors. Just so very nice. The Adder. Trufade. And you know, while we're at it, we'll wrap the vehicle, we'll get this thing up to speed just in case I grab the wrong one or only one comes up in the selection screen or something like that. If I ever need to tire with something. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Again, I'm not going to change the look. I'm not even going to change the plate. This is going to be roughly as it was when it came off the podium, but it needs to go zoom. It needs to have turbos. It, needs we'll a it does that. need a spoiler because those are the rules. Armor. Needs armor. How can I tire and not have armor? Engine. Full power. Exhaust. Leave it alone. Hood. Leave it alone. Lights. We are going to put a neon kit on it. Front, back, sides. Don't worry about the color. Because that that will lower the, uh, the center of gravity a little bit. Skirts. No, we're going to leave all that alone. Spoiler. Street spoiler. Now that just changes it but a little bit track spoiler competition spoiler the competition spoiler is the biggest shift and look but those same wings the same bat wings are, are there no matter what and the competition spoiler looks like it might have the lowest mass. Let's go with that. So it has less tail happiness. May not. You know, the physics. Put the sport suspension on it. Or should we? Does it really matter? Now we're just kissing the ground. Let's give ourselves a little bit of ground clearance, shall we? I don't think it's going to matter. This will give you some more. Grease. 
turbo wheels. We just need uh, bulletproofs. Because we're keeping this one as stock looking as possible. Because it was a win. Windows, we'll leave that alone. Alright. So the, the freshly won tyrant is now up to speed. You can tell by the lights. The arcade saves at 50k. Wow, I didn't know they had that much going on here. I'll have to take a limo ride up there. Or I could probably, yeah, if it's a limo ride still, I think if you, uh, take the fast travel option from the. And there you have it. Let's take a little thing here. We'll turn around. Short video, but I just wanted to do that little thing here just to test the mic a little bit, see how things are going with the game sounds, you know. I think my my vocal uh, levels are good, but we're going to find out. And we'll see how things go. At least now I finally have one of the legendary cars, the Adder, in my collection. I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to throw one in the in the CEO offices because it is a, probably one of the best looking cars in the game. Even better looking than the, the Nero. But, I mean, I don't know. I'll have to find some more parking spaces. That, that's going to be another project. We'll have to see how that goes. What can we get rid of? And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.